Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Ashley. And we decided to try something fun. She had a black dress and I have a white wall. And we said, that seems boring. So we're gonna throw some color at it. So I'm gonna use uh, the idea of kind of one light crossing the other light and filling in to create essentially colored shadows on the wall. Now when you're doing this kind of technique, you can take it to all different kinds of extremes. Um, when I do it, I like generally though to have at least one neutral in there to keep the balance of the eye. So I've got a B1X over here with a colored gel. This one is, what do you call it, pink? pink. It's a pink color. This is a B1X over here with a purple. Purpley color, right? And this is the B2 uh, that is fitted with a 10 degree grid. 10 degree grid because wherever the neutral light hits, we're not gonna have any color. I don't wanna get rid of all my color. I just wanna have like a little bit of clean light on her face. So this is gonna be a hard light, which uh, as we've used actually in many videos before, we know that her face takes a hard light really nicely, so you're good for this. Um, if you had to use like a big soft light, it probably would get rid of our shadows too much. So you, you, know, you kinda wanna think about that. So with this all combined, uh, I'm gonna go back to my camera here. And uh, yeah, I've got the 85 millimeter on my Canon. I've got the three lights set up. I'm gonna show you each one individually first. So uh, first we're gonna do the so I'll turn them all off first. All right, they're all off. I'm going to turn on A. So A is this guy over here with the purple, so we can see what that looks like. Okay, got a bit of a purpley shot there. It's a little on the dark side, but I think we'll adjust that once we get them all going. Because um, remember, we're going to add extra light to it. So let's turn that over a second on our pink light, right? Okay, that's about the same exposure as the purple one, roughly. Let me move this little thing here. You know, even just that is kind of interesting, right? Why not? Uh, and then, of course, our clean light is in the center. And it also creates kind of a spotlighty, cool look, but you can already get a feeling how this is going to work out, right? So now, let's bring them all up. So they're all on now. And again, I'm in manual. What I'm gonna do is take a shot and I'm gonna make adjustments to each light to get them where we want. But you'll see immediately what happens here. Okay, we've got, remember everything looked a little bit dark. This is why I left it the way it was. We have nice light on our face. You know, you got a little color in there, but it's definitely, uh, you know, neutral-ish. Uh, it is a hard light, like I said, so you're getting little highlights, but that's okay. Oh, look at that cool catch light in her eye. Oh, it's like aliens are coming in. And then we've got our shadows over here. So of course, wherever more of the white light is hitting, the shadow is, is less intense color. So you have this like light blue, and then you've got all the way down to darker purples here. And when she moves her arm around creating different shadows, we'll get different shapes. So let's just bang some stuff out and see what we can. So this is all about playing. Nice. I'm gonna worry about too much. You could, if you weren't actually shooting an onset video while you were doing this, uh, you could turn the lights off and just put the modeling lights on. Um, but which you guys probably aren't shooting an outside video, I'm assuming. I mean, I'm not sure, actually. Nice. There we go. Fun, simple, and you can do this in any which way. You could even just have one colored light coming in. And wherever you, oh, I'm all tangled here. Wherever you don't have neutral is going to be the color, right? So basically, over here, we've got different degrees of the light. And just to show you that, because I always like to throw in one extra thing that I didn't talk about before we started, is I'm just gonna take the grid off. Let's show you the difference. Grid, which I said was 10 degrees, but it's actually 20. And that eats up some light. Oh, we got some mail. Um, so I'm going to turn the light down a stop. And let's see what we get. See that? Now we have a big spread of light. We only have the colored shadow where her shadow would be from that key light, right? Nice and simple. It's a cool technique to try, really easy. And again, these are just individual hard lights. They could be anything. I'm using Profoto B1Xs. You could be using speed lights. You could even do this with constant lights uh, if, you, if you were in a dark enough space and to get a cool effect. So I'm gonna put Ashley's information in the description so you guys can follow her. Be sure to follow me, Daniel Martin Photographer. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, of course. And I'll see you next time on set.